Hi, this is Yosuke Bhartia and we are here at SAP Safari 2023 in Orlando and today we have with us Andre Pashto, your SVP Head of Solutions and Innovation Experience at SAP. Andre, it's good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, I would love to hear from you, you know, we are here at the event. Talk a bit about, you know, when you meet the customers here, what, the, what has been the experience here at the event so far? Always super inspiring. You know, especially talking to customers um, uh, during like the whole day, also in the evening, but also to partners and also make the connection between different kind of industries. Um, there is so much dynamic in this event and also so much, I would say, passion. You see like customers are super motivated, like working with SAP um, and to get this information and then also to use it for like your daily work. Um, it's yeah, engaging and it's super inspiring. Have you created any venues for customers where they can get, you know, some experience working with SAP technologies? Mm -hmm. If yes, what are those? Actually, yes. I mean, uh, we, we created this experience and we also have the, the main showcase here uh, at, at the main or at the event and, and show floor. So, and what we're doing there is really we set up real world scenarios where customers can experience SAP software, they can also see business opportunities, they they can gather with SAP and also connecting maybe to different kind of industries they never thought about, but also connecting to partner solutions, which like um, our, they can see the impact of our huge ecosystem, like how they can use partner solutions and bridge maybe SAP technology um, to the vertical edge. Um, so this is what we try to bring to life in our experience centers, but also here, as said, as part of the show floor with the main showcase, where we show a real-world example, end-to-end -end supply chain of ice cream production, and um, uh, try to make the customer understand, okay, how important it is like to connect different kind of industries and to different kind of business processes, uh, which really brings then the power of SAP. When you look at innovation, you know, innovation versus, as you said, real life or you know, putting in hands of customers, the, the bridge, the journey. Yeah. Talk about you know, how you kind of you know, make innovation more tangible where your folks can you know, know. Innovation could mean different things, but yeah. you know, it's something in the your labs versus something yeah. users are using in real life. Yes, I mean, actually, first of all, I need to say like SAP is a bit more like the, the enabler for innovation, also for customers. Um, that they can stay innovative and they can make use of innovation and connect it then also to the backend processes, which is a very important thing. We, we talk about a lot of innovation, but if you cannot connect it back to the core processes, uh, it's also not really usable and beneficial to customers. And this is also where we try to help customers and, and always lead with innovation. So we come with like innovative business ideas, like thinking about a retailer, um, doing automatic um, uh, shopping, cashierless checkout, all the things. And, and we lead with the innovative innovation example, explain it to customers how they can realize it. And then, then it comes down to, okay, but at the end, you need to trigger automatically the order in the ERP system. You need to adjust the prices in the ERP system, or you need to you need to connect it to your sourcing system and procurement system. And this is what we try to do. Like we want to lead with innovation. We show the customers, okay, how they can gather impact from innovative technologies. But at the end, like that it's also important that you have the backend uh, software in place and also the processes in place who can really help you to make it uh, tangible at the end. Can you share some use cases where you can, I don't want, you know, especially unless you are comfortable to name a company, but where you can say, hey, you know, these are the technology industries and they wanted to move and we enable them to move. We have some use cases in different kind of industries, by the way, like uh, especially when you think about um, uh, oil, gas, energy um, uh, and sustainability topics or also e-mobility. Um, we currently also work with oil, gas, energy and utility providers, how we can connect um, their business to a, a complete new business in retail. Like think about in the future, there are like more and more people charging their cars uh, in the gas station. So they have time to have a, a new experience and, and oil gas energies companies or utility companies, they get many retailers because they can really, they want to create an experience for their customers that they um, 
do the stop over maybe in one company and not in the other company to get a competitive advantage as well. And like this industry are blurring and this is something you can really show them in a very, with very easy to understand examples, what are their business opportunities. The other way around, I, I talked about this today with a, with a retailer, I mean, they have huge parking spaces, they have huge inventory. Like, they can add like charging stations, they can connect it to their loyalty apps to do promotional pricing in the store, they connect data back to consumer good products companies. Like, this is a super interesting, and this is not like, you know, rocket science sometimes, this is just maybe also applying standard processes we, we, we have in one industry and, and apply it to another industry. When you talk about uh, these, some of these newer emerging mm -hmm. technologies or uh, newer industries, uh, and it comes to, you know, once again, SAP, bringing that customer to, what are the innovation that you're seeing in the industry like, of course, AI is evolving, yeah. it's still evolving. We all have forgotten about yeah. NFTs now. We are all talking about chat GPT, um, Metaverse, you know, Metaverse yeah. pushing for Metaverse as well. Uh, what are the technologies that you feel are there which are right, positioned rightly or they are going to position in a better way to once again bring this, improve this customer experience? Yeah. I think Metaverse, uh, you named a good topic. I think there was a lot of like, passwords and like what is the metaverse like is a consumer metaverse or industrial metaverse um let's maybe take a take a look or deep dive or double click into the industrial metaverse i think this is still something where i see huge opportunities for a lot of customers um the tricky thing is really that you find the right use case like think about i mean we talk about digital green all the time but um but also maybe think about everything as a service or smart cities like um, from like building environment or faster i would say trans to the energy transition by building new power plants in an existing environment and connect it um, uh, to the to the energy management of, of a city i think these are complex topics which you can easily use virtual reality and and uh, metaverse i would say um, to easier plan to be more cost efficient and then also um, uh, to run the project uh, way earlier. And at the end, it's all about connecting the data which is currently there in the SAP system, like asset management data or like the assets, uh, product lifecycle management um, uh, systems to the virtual reality. And this is something, um, uh, it's just that we need to find the right use cases to make this technology relevant. And I think that then it will accelerate. When we look at some of these emerging technologies, how many of you see are, I mean, every technology has a potential, but which you feel are like mature enough to be, you know, as you're we're really talking about the real, you know, real life use cases where you do see, hey, these are the emerging technologies, but they are ready for enterprise customers to bring their customer experience to the next level. Artificial intelligence was already there before ChatGPT. I mean, we all also use it already in SAP systems, but I think it's a huge opportunity. Uh, it came that we, uh, that ChatGPT understood how to make this service consumable for like standard consumers uh, and now it's rising and I think this is what we need to also do like we make the people understand the companies understand how they can use artificial intelligence with their business software to create like new opportunities or be more efficient or more sustainable in their business processes so I think that's for me um, currently one of the most powerful technologies but it was already there also before ChatGPT but now it's really accelerating and I think, yeah, it's not going away. And I think also Web3, by the way, um, it's still a huge uh, game changer, like currently is with blockchain technology, which is especially for business network. Think about Talia, financial management, insurance management across the supply chain networks. Huge opportunity, but I think these two, um, I think still, in, yeah, I think they are still in a mature state. We just need to translate it to really use cases on customer side. Since we are here at, you know, I just want to change the gear quickly. Uh, since we are here, there weren't any announcement that your team's made here. I mean, I I'm, uh, I need to say, like the Microsoft uh, collaboration announcement, especially about learning uh, and the combination also of learning and training according to, I named it like um, uh, machine, like manufacturing processes. And especially if you have, 
it, nowadays, where it's hard to find, I would say, the skilled workforce you need to run your processes, I think there's a huge opportunity with this announcement we create together, maybe also connecting social network like or LinkedIn with our field class and then also our HXM solutions. I think um, it's a big announcement with a huge potential. Um, uh, and then, yes, I mean, sustainability, like Green Ledger um, is really key for me that we really do the next step in, in improve the sustainability of many companies. Um, uh, so the, the Green Ledger announcement, also the sustainability topic, I think could greatly improve. When you say the word yes, sustainability, sustainability could mean different things depending on, we can look about the planetary sustainability, we can also look about, you know, sustainability of economy, we can also look at sustainability of industries, yeah. and also in this geopolitical you know, changing landscape, First of all, how would you define sustainability from SAP's perspective? And once again, you know, yeah. what initiatives are there? I, I would say um, uh, to uh, SAP uh, could help to create transparency in the whole supply chains and, and um, uh, for the data exchange also between different kind of industries, which you need to do uh, sustainability reporting accordingly. I think at the end, um, it's really that we have this sustainability accounting in place that we really can change something also and, and get also the, the compliance right. And this requires, I think, at the end, really as the knowledge of SAP and also um, uh, the bandwidth of SAP, which we already have through the multiple industries and multiple uh, customers. I think there, this is something uh, where I think you, SAP is unique positioned um, to support this and um, for me it's key to really change something and not just like talking about it I think um, it needs to be like a foundational approach okay this is how you measure it how you report it and this is like how it's then also compliant um, uh, so being able to manage this data and doing also then the data management between different industries brings us in a unique position and I, I, I think also we will um, uh, really invest in this topic that we that we help um, also our customers, not all, only our customers, but also in general, um, uh, to, to accelerate the speed of making the world more sustainable. Ade, thank you so much <laughs> for taking time out today and sit down with me. Thank you. I hope we can follow up and enjoy Sapphire. <laughs>